barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the hit the subscribe button man hit the subscribe button click the link below man and um um i saw a clip i don't even think youtube will allow me to put the clip at the beginning of this video because it was very damning about mike tyson i told you about mike tyson i told you black culture loved and embraced him i've never had i've never done a mike tyson interview never um because the Mike Tyson interview I want to do, he'll he'll probably come across that DS and want to beat the hell out of me, right? You know what I mean? And uh, uh, I, I I don't think that that would be ever happen. You know, uh, I got one Mike Tyson interview on my thing, and and it's by accident because I was passing him. You know, and uh, instead of me saying excuse me, I just asked him a question. It was like ten seconds and. Uh, I, I I thought that was like that I was just getting by him, and though you say, "Oh, you never could interview Mike Tyson," all those Ellie interviews at the fights, when Mike Tyson is next to Sam, I'm right there. I could have pulled out my camera and recorded. I'm like, nah, I don't want to. Now, so from like 2016 to like 2008, 2014, like 2018, I'm literally right next to him. I, I just didn't want to pull out my camera, you know, and and if he is in my videos it's because I was interviewing Sam or somebody that was in that click and he happened to be there. It's not because he was the primary uh, subject matter. And he says something that was very damning. I'm going to quote him. He says, oh, I was watching the 16. I was watching Jake Paul dance at 16 and it gave him an and what word could I use? It gave him a baseball bat. Imagine that. A 16, he was watching Jake Paul as a 16 year old boy dance, and it gave him a an, an Empire State Building. It gave him a baseball bat. I don't think I could say it on YouTube. It's disgusting. That's that prison mindset, that's that predatory behavior. This is the man y'all look up to. This this is the man that y'all look as the epitome of masculinity. Your knuckle game don't make you the epitome of masculinity. Those guys are in jail. Those guys are... Those guys are in jail, man. You know what I mean? Like, can you take care of a family? Can you make a woman love you forever? Do you go to soccer practice, choir rehearsal, math tutor? Do you go on YouTube and learn how to do math, algebra two, before your kid come home? Do you teach your kid how to build via Legos and then take that in the backyard and, and, and build shelves in a garage? They don't talk about that, man. They mask their insecurities these guys online mask their insecurities with tough talk. Yeah. Show me your family. Show me your wife. Show me what you've built. What you've built. Show me what you own. Show me how many jobs you created. Show me how many hours you volunteered in your community. That's a minority. And, and honestly, in this ecosystem, they need it. <laughs> they need it. Like, like they, they put men like me on pedestals and don't even know they're doing it. So I'm grateful for them because they don't go to them and ask them, what's it like to be mad? They don't ask them for marital advice, you know? So they just bask in insecurities, man. They drink too much. They smoke too much. They party too much. They're in the streets too much. They in and out of prison too much. Uh, they arguing with their baby mama too much. You know, they masking a whole bunch of insecurities, man. And the same thing can be said about Mike Tyson. It's disgusting listening to what he said, man. I wish I could. I would get striked. It's so bad. I would get striked because it's a crime. It's a crime what Mike Tyson said. Go to the Jake Paul interview 
Go to the Jake Paul Mike Tyson press conference. It's on YouTube, but I don't think you can put it as a as like a slice it and 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 and, and put it. I don't think you can do that. Mm -mm. It's disgusting, man. So um, for all y'all fake men out there, you got a dope knuckle game. I'm glad you got a dope knuckle game. I'm proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> You've won. <laughs> Congratulations. You're you're you are a living example of what men should be. Get out of jail, go to jail, and say you got a knuckle game like Mike Tyson. That's pretty cool. You're amazing. <laughs> so y'all go ahead and have a beautiful day. And um, um, But Mike Tyson is disgusting. I mean, just the scum of the earth disgusting. Because if I said what he said, Y'all would think that just the scum of the earth disgusting. And if you support that, you the scum of, scum of the earth disgusting. That's why we got to separate the street dudes from the cornballs. We got to make cornball cool. Yeah, we got to make being a cornball really, really cool, man. It's going to be fun. This, th this journey is going to be fun. So y'all go ahead and have a splendid day. And uh, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. And all you Mike Tyson worshipers, what's up? What's up, though? <laughs> I'll talk to y'all so peace.